Friends and family are coming over for game day. You're going to be spending hours playing a rich thematic game. Well, those friends and family are going to start feeling a little peckish. So when it's time to put out a spread, why not include some food items that will go along with the theme of the game? Let's talk about some thematic taste tips in this installment of Face Up, Center of the Table. I can't use this for an intro. Who else does this? Never heard of that guy. Here in the South, when guests come in your home, there better be some food and drink. Otherwise, they're going to get hungry and feel like they could eat the south end of a northbound polecat. Before we get too far into this, Face Up Center of the Table does not condone eating food while playing a board game and will not be held liable for any damage to your game that may be caused by liquids, grease, barbecue sauce, powdered sugar, and dust that includes but not limited to Dorito and Cheeto. So when writing out your grocery list, keep in mind what games you'll be playing. Those don't have to be hard to make recipes or really bizarre items. For example, if you're playing a fantasy or medieval themed game, serve drinks and goblets and have some chicken wings or turkey legs. Yes, I do know they ate turkey legs back then because I saw it on TV. If you're playing a sci-fi game, you don't have to buy a lot of dehydrated food. Instead, you could get things like dried fruit, some beef jerky, hey, what about a moon pie? Now that doesn't make any sense, but for your drink, you must have tang. You know, tang? Tang? What do you mean they don't know about Tang? Show the commercial. With the success of the recent Apollo space flights, man has been brought another step closer to the moon. Aboard these manned Apollo flights, three astronauts, and with them, Tang. Tang, the energy breakfast drink with rich natural flavor and more vitamin C than orange juice. Okay, so I'm old. Here's something fun we did for our Dead of Winter game night. However, this could be done with any horror zombie themed game. We made homemade pulled barbecue pork then stuffed it inside of a plastic skeleton. Guests had to pull the pork out of the rib cage if they wanted to eat. Sure, it looked a little gory, but tasted delicious and fit the game night perfectly. However, here is something that is requested every game night when we host at our house. The chocolate trifle. Granted, this doesn't really fit any particular theme, but guests don't care. They just want some good dessert, and it's so easy to make. First, you need your family size box of your favorite brownie mix, two packages of chocolate instant jello pudding, two 8 ounce containers of Cool Whip, and 12 fun size Butterfinger or your favorite candy bar. You bake your brownies according to package directions and let them cool for 30 minutes. Then you'll take half your brownies and make a layer in the bottom of your trifle dish, followed by one box of chocolate pudding followed by one container of Cool Whip, half of your crushed candy bar, and then repeat that process again. So I need some more food ideas. Do you have any food suggestions for thematic games? Share them in the comments. Yes, Mr. Vassal, I promise I'll never do that bit with pouring milk over the meeples again, nor wear funny hats, nor use a gavel, nor, wait a minute, what was that one? No, oh, no, oh, hold on just a second, okay? Hey guys, scrap the component drop. Man, guys, shut the door. Wait, what? I can't say that either?